I suppose like with, with the Clare team today, like um, like well, what do you make of the Clare team today? And obviously, what did you make of them in the in the championship most recently? Like obviously, they were they were beaten, um, of course, in the in the qualifiers. Um, so like, what, what what did you make of them yourself? I I, do, I mean, obviously, they, they they did put in they did put in their you know the the the, the, the efforts you know. Uh, uh, to be honest with you, I actually. Even though my my love for Clare Hurland and my passion for Clare Hurland, I knew that Limerick is going to to be honest. Before even championship starts, I knew that Limerick is going to be the All Ireland champions. You know, uh, what what I'd love to see is Waterford win it as well. Obviously, you know, it was it would have been great to see Waterford win the 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 the, the All Ireland. Uh, you know, but it really it really is kind of from the from the the, the you know the league games and. And the you know the the, the championship uh, championship games, I was supposed to, they were the great like like any year like you know like any year, uh, but um, you know like in certain seasons you know which team are going to win in All Ireland, you mm. almost have your bet there, you know. So to me this year you know well, last year was you know was Limerick and, and you know please God hopefully twenty twenty one is clear, you know. But I have a feeling it's going to be Waterford, so we'll see we'll see how it goes. Yeah, they definitely won't be a million miles away. Anyway, like we, because yeah, yeah. okay. obviously, because obviously coming into the championship, like they had a couple of a couple of injuries. I think I think Cahill Malone wasn't. Uh, I think he he joined mm-hmm. the footballers, um, and Tony Kelly really just was outstanding. Like really, like you know, he that he. I I think it's rude to say he carried the team on his back because there were other players who did contribute. You know, there's 14 men on the field. Aaron Shanahan was very bright, but without doubt, like you know, probably the hurler of the year. Um, you know, I know maybe Grode Hegarty maybe gets it, or maybe Keane Lynch, or, or even one of the Waterford lads as well. But mm. like Tony Kelly's performance was something else in, in 2020. Like you must have been, you must have been really impressive with how well he played in that 2020 championship. It really, really was. Um, as I said, it was really, it was a pleasure looking, like you know, seeing Tony Kelly play. Uh, and majority of the Clare hurlers, uh, they tried their best. It was really, really a team effort. I suppose everyone was kind of got told just work like dogs. When you see Tony Kelly passes Tony Ke- passes Tony Kelly, Tony Kelly was scored a point late, you know. And so, so that's really it. And it's crazy, you know. It's 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 just where you know where he can score from any angle, you know. And even looking, you know, uh, videos from his actually own club Ballier, you know, and mm. these, you know, scoring a point is no different, you know. That that man can score from any angle, like you know, which is great, like. Um, but yeah, I mean, Claire Hurlers in you know the Claire Hurland team obviously done their best, obviously, you know. Uh, same with the Kilkenny, uh, uh, and I suppose any every every Hurland team here, you know, in this country that actually did, uh, you know, try their best. But well, as you say, you know, may 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 God the best team win, you know, and and Limerick had obviously Limerick Lim, Lim, Limerick did uh, win Liam this year. So uh, sorry, last last year. So we can only hope. I can only hope Claire win it. This year, you know, this year, and but from from the looks of it, from you know, I, I think like am I, I really want like at the same time, I want to see Waterford win it as well, you know, because mm. uh, I suppose the whole country would really feel, you know, if we really feel for Waterford if they did because last, you know, All Ireland they have won since nineteen fifty nine, like, do you know what I mean? So there's been really, really a lot, you know, a long, uh, you know, I think it's about time Waterford lifts leave this year, you know. So please God, may God, they 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 do it, but. Obviously, up the banner for me, like you know. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, like with Waterford, definitely. Like, uh, I've always kind of had a had a soft spot for Waterford down the years. Like, I, so I worked down there for a while, went to their to the college down there for a certain period of time as well. So I've all I've always kind of had a soft spot for Waterford, um, and I definitely would love to see them get over the line without doubt. Like, like I'd imagine for yourself as well, since you're since you're a Clare man, like 2013. I'd say without doubt, like that was that was probably a special year as well. Like seeing Clare win, you know, their second All Ireland and you know about a hundred odd years. Mm. So, uh, like, what was that like? And what, you know, what was the experience of watching that final? I actually wanted. I actually want. I actually wanted to go to that uh, uh, final. To be honest, uh, I couldn't go to. Uh, I was tickets were sold out, mm. but uh, I came. I came. I came, uh, I came last. I came in last fan and, and I was like, listen, mate, tickets when it's not there, like you know. But um it was actually what we really, it was it was um, a, a great moment, like I mean my my um 
my, my love for Claire wasn't as 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 um like I haven't really done like my 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 passion from Claire wasn't wasn't there yet if you get what I mean right yeah, uh, yeah. but uh but like you know throughout the years not only did I start going not only did I went to, to you know 2013 final and start looking through the highlights and whatever and start looking full game but kept literally went as 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 back as 1990 like do you know mm. um and you know throughout obviously seeing Colin Lynch play in certain games uh you know and the 2000 and uh, there's 2007 uh was 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 I don't know I actually don't know which uh which which kind of um was it the semi final or quarter final but it was Cork and Clare you know in Cork Park and that's actually one of the picture I was telling you about when I see Colin when uh, Colin Lynch and and and, and the Rock shouldering each other mm. that 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 game was outstanding honestly that was the game that you know that I I really enjoyed every single bit of it you know. Literally, the toughness. And back in the day, it was just a seven or done. People didn't, you know, was that hel- the helmets were optional as well. You know, Carl Lynch didn't wear a helmet back in the day. Do you know what I mean? It was, so, so did the rock, do you know? So it was just mm. classic, you know, classic. It was a war game that was, you know? Um, but uh, but it was, re- I mean, looking I mean, looking at the, the passion of the players, you could tell, I mean, you could tell the players, you know, going to win the, the 2013, uh, you know, the championship, I mean, it was they're just outstanding. Like you know, they you could see, you could see, you could literally almost feel the passion. Even low arm looks is looking at it from the back of the screen, but I felt I was there myself. Do you know what I mean? And um, so I was, you know, so it was, you know, it was a, you know, a great moment for 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 all for all Claire Harlan, you know. Uh, so yeah, it was was really it was really a, a good moment. Like yeah, it was it was a special day. All right, like I, I was special at the. Day. I was at the semi-final between Dublin and Cork. I remember the 2013 semi-final, and I remember thinking, you know, this this could be the year maybe for Dublin to to finally get over the line and hurl and you know maybe win the double along with the football. But uh, you know, Cork obviously beat Dublin that day, played mm-hmm. clear in the final, um, and it was it was a mad final altogether. You had Shane O'Donnell, uh, who, yeah. who kind of came out of blue. You had Davy Fitz, the replay, yeah. Marty Morrissey screaming "Holy Moses!" Like it was the <laughs> Yeah, yeah. It, like uh, when I look back at, at finals from the past 10 years, like the 2018 one stands out quite a bit because Limerick won it. It was their first in the world. I think Tipper, a couple of Tipperaries as well, but that one in particular, because it came at a time really when Kilkenny were generally winning it every year. Maybe, t- you know, Tipperary would mm. stop them, but yeah, without doubt, like it, it has to go up there in one of the, the best, best finals I've probably ever seen. Mm. Um, mm. One of the best championship years I've ever seen as well, especially in Hurling mm. anyways. And obviously, you can't you can't forget Anthony Nash, uh, free mm. t- you know uh, penalty taken. Yeah, you know? yeah, that was a trend back. In the, that was a trend back. You know, so obviously now, GA had to look at it and say, we, we have to cut mm. this. You know, there's, 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 we can't we can't get this going as a trend. But that was really it was it was a. I still still I still can't get in my head how the hell did that slit go through the net of all those clear men, you know that penalty. I honestly couldn't. Sit, I, I you know I I looked at it. I think about twenty times. Right. And trying mm. to figure out how the hell that's going to go through all these men, I just couldn't figure. I couldn't figure out how, like you know, mm. just yeah. a power of Anthony Nash, like say, a power of Anthony Nash, I'd say. Yeah, he, he just he just had a way. He just said, you know, that that's kind of probably why the GA looked at that rule and everything. Like they even call it the Nash rule because you know because <laughs> because of that in many ways. Like, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. but uh, yeah, like it was like he 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 was some player as well. Like without mm. doubt, like and. Mm. Like a lot of the Cork lads and Clare lads, like you had just yeah. immense players on both sides. Um, mm. like I feel, I I do feel a bit bad for Cork in some ways because you know they were so close to to getting over the line, and I think that I, I have a funny feeling if they had got over the line, then with some of the young players that they had in their team, we could have been maybe looking at a similar trajectory to what Limerick are on now because Limerick in 2018 mm. probably actually weren't at their best. Like you know they they didn't even they didn't even make the Munster final. Uh, went through the qualifiers and probably arguably could, could have been beaten once or twice but you know in the end just had the tenacity in the in the final stages really kind of to get over the mm. line but uh, mm. in, in 2013 that could have been similar with Cork um, but in the end it was, it, it was Claire who, uh, who got the job done 